is going to be a Zara haul. Almost a month ago, I did seven hauls in a row for my fall haul week, and I actually did do a Zara haul in that week. That was my most successful one. That was my favorite one from the whole seven days. So I've been keeping a little eye on Zara's website since then, and um, I've definitely been interested in a few new releases as well as some things that I looked over um, from my previous haul. So. We are gonna jump right into it. I have a lot of really fun things to try on as well as some good basics. So I'm really excited about this one and let's just get started. Really quickly before we get started, everything that I'm showing you today will be linked down in the description box with the price and the size that I got um, right next to it. So if you want anything or you want to check anything out, everything will be linked down below. So this first item is one of the reasons I made the order in the first place, and it is a pair of leather look leggings. In my Topshop haul a couple of weeks ago, I tried on a black pair of Jamie jeans, and they were like um, a coated black pair. So I really liked the look of them, but they didn't fit me right. So when I saw that they were leggings and had that same effect, I really wanted to try them on, but I have high hopes, and I really like that they have a little zipper too. So let's try these on, and hopefully they look the way I want them to. Okay, so here are the leather look leggings. <laughs> They are really, really bunchy. So especially if I turn around, like I have a lot of bunching on the back. So it's almost like they are too big on my legs. I actually love the way they fit around my waist. They're super, super comfortable. Um, and I couldn't go down here because it's just like the perfect fit right here. But along my hips and my legs, they are bunching a lot. Um, like they're almost too big. I did wanna try a couple different pairs and styles of the leather look leggings. So I saw these ones too, they have a lace up, which is a little bit more edgy than the other ones. And these ones are actually like shinier. I think I prefer the finish of the first ones, but I do actually really like this tie up detail. I think that's really cute. And it's almost a little bit like of a play on the Victorian style that I really love. So yeah. I'm excited to try these ones on too. These ones have definitely surprised me. I thought after taking them out that I would much prefer the first pair. I actually kind of really like these ones. I like how they cinch you in right at your smallest part. Um, and I think these ones just fit better overall. So that is the back of them. I still have bunching right here, but um, definitely not as bad as the first pair. And it's bunching around my knees, so. I don't know, let me know what you think. I kind of like them, kind of love them, but then I also kind of hate them. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. And I do actually love this tie detail here. I think it like camouflages that little mom pooch that I still have. So yeah, I don't know, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts because I definitely need help deciding on these ones. Switching over to tops, um, I picked up this cream colored knit and this is so soft. I think it's actually called their super soft knit. So I'm already loving this. I have so many like sweaters in this color, but I actually don't gravitate towards them very often because I don't have one that fits me perfectly in this color. So hopefully this will be the right one. I like that it's a little bit cropped too. So I'll try these on with those leggings and hopefully I like them. Oh my gosh, this sweater is like, butter on your skin it is so soft um i don't know how like flattering the color is on me but it would go with a lot in my wardrobe and this is what it looks like with those little leather leggings so so it is kind of making me fall a little bit more in love with these pants and yeah i absolutely love this sweater let me know about the color though because i'm sure they have different options for the color and the neckline is perfect because you don't have to worry about what shirt is on underneath um and you also aren't being like constricted by a turtleneck so time and place for a turtleneck but you don't always want one so this is a really cute and snuggly option so this skirt i did see and i almost ordered it with my first zara haul but um i didn't and then i quickly regretted it so it is this adorable like paper bag waist plaid mini skirt and it's pleated and i love this detail up at the top so i originally didn't order it because i only saw it in black and then when i went back to look at it again um, i saw that they had this plaid print i got this in a medium only because i have another skirt from zara and so it's just a little bit tight around the waist so um, I think this looks like it's gonna fit just fine. And since it has an elastic waistband, I probably could have sized down as well. So yeah, just keep that in mind. 
if you're in between sizes. Um, you could probably go either way. Oh my gosh, this is actually shorts. I was not expecting that, um, but when I pulled them on, they were little shorts underneath, so that's awesome. I don't know if I would be able to get away with it with like a chunky knit, which is how I wanted to wear it um, because it's a little bit bulky um, since it is a medium, but I kind of still love it. I wear skirts like this like all summer um, and this like length and all. And, it's, and this is just like the perfect way to take my style into winter because it's like this cute little plaid um, material. I don't know. I have to try it on with something else I think because right now it's not really doing much for me. I ordered this next top specifically for the color and it is this beautiful rust colored um, turtleneck sweater. It is really, really soft, but I can already tell that it's gonna be see-through. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but hopefully when it's on, you won't be able to see through it, but I'll try it on with like a black bra just to make sure. But yeah, I think this would be super cute with that little plaid mini skirt, so we'll try that on together. Um, and yeah, I don't usually go for sweaters that are like tight to my body. I don't necessarily like that look, but I couldn't resist this color. It's just so pretty, so. Okay, so two things initially right off the bat. You can see my black bra through, and then this turtleneck is like kind of really tight on my neck. But aside from that, you can see the skirt a bit better. And I think if I was going to keep it, I would have to size down because it's just like, it's, it's big. So yeah. But it is really, really cute. So I don't know, let me know if you think I should size down in this skirt. I actually don't even know if I like this color on me. I think it's a little harsh and like, my face looks like a ghost in this um, camera. It, it doesn't look as bad in real life, but yeah. Hmm, that's a shame that it's see-through and this is tight because it's nice and snuggly and will definitely keep you warm. I also really like the long cuffs. I think that's like a flattering detail. So I definitely was gravitating toward this color because here is another um, really similar top, except this one has an adorable little scallop up on the neck. I don't know how flattering that's gonna be on me because I do have a round face shape and a bit of a double chin. So I don't usually like to um, draw attention to like my chin area. <laughs> but I do really love the little scallops on the um, wrists, but this one's see-through. So again, we're just gonna have to try this one on and see, but I really love this color. I think it looks really pretty with like the color of my hair and my fair skin tone, so yeah. So it's a good thing I don't like this color on me because I have another piece in it, but I've come to the conclusion officially that I hate this shape on me because of how um, much it shows off how large I am. I just think that's like a little uncomfortable for me. But with that being said, um, this little like ruffle around the neck, I think if you had like a super thin face would be really, really pretty. And I do like the ruffles around the wrist, but yeah, this is definitely a no from me, but hey, at least I tried, right? Up next, I have something that Zara does really well, and that is a tweed skirt. So this has um, hardware all over it, and I actually like that the stitching is black. I'm not usually somebody who likes contrast stitching, but on this skirt, I think it's really, really cute. I would just wear this with like a sweater, black tights, and chunky little ankle boots, and I think that would be such a cute little look. So I'm hoping this is the look that I'm going for, and let's just try it on. <laughs> so this one is adorable. It's like really, really flattering, really brings in your waist. I love this little belt detail but I don't know if you are gonna be able to tell. Um, it is really see-through because it's not lined. So I tried it on with that rust colored top that I just had on and you could see like the rust to here and then um, that it was like transparent. So that's really a shame because the way I would wear this would be with like this sweater in black tucked in so that it would match like the contrast. Um, so yeah, because of that, I will be sending this one back but it is definitely a shame because this is super cute and flattering. I think I can find something similar with better quality. So yeah, but let me know if you know of any because I think this is a really, really cute look, so. So I have another one of these um, slim fitting turtleneck tops. This color I love too. I love both of the colors that I picked out. I guess this is the same one as the rust colored one from before. So I'm hoping that that one fit me okay because that would mean that this one would fit me okay. So we are just gonna give it a shot. So this one is the same as the first rust one. So as you can see, it's really see-through. Um, and yeah, I didn't even bother tucking it into this skirt. So I just wanted to try it on so that you could see what it looked like. I actually 
much prefer this color. I think this is so much more flattering on me, but I will definitely keep that in mind. Um, next time I order from somewhere is not to go for rust, but to go for like creamy brown. So yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot that I ordered a bunch of camis. So in my Target haul from that fall haul week, I tried on a black cami that I really loved, but I just had it in too big of a size. And then when I went to return it, they didn't have a smaller size. So this one's really similar, but I actually like it even better. The fabric down here is a little bit more like lightweight and floaty. So yeah, this is beautiful. And it was a good price too for what it is. So I will try this on. I would love wearing this with like, if those leather look leggings looked good and a big chunky cardigan, I think that would be a really pretty look. So yeah, high hopes for this little black cami. So the black um, tank from Target was way too big. And this one is unfortunately too small across my chest, which is such a bummer because I like um, how like slim it skims across my body. I'm wearing it with my favorite lounge pants. These are from Nordstrom. I will link them down below. Everybody needs a pair, but, but yeah, it's a shame because this lace is really, really pretty. I love this tank top. It's just, I need to size up. Ooh, so this color um, looks a little bit different than it did online. They showed it on a model who had beautiful, like super dark, rich skin. So it was a little bit hard to tell if it would look good on my fair skin. Um, and I think it, probably isn't gonna do me <laughs> great justice. But um, I will try it on anyway, so anybody who maybe does have that beautiful skin tone um, will see it and you know be able to order it. But I will say this quality is beautiful. This like silk-like material is so, so soft. I love it. So I just kind of wish it was in a slightly different tone. I knew that this color wasn't gonna look good on me, but the actual style of this tank top is really beautiful. I love the straps because they're like that silky material with a black little um, string of lace across it. So yeah, but this material is super pretty. And if you had like more olive skin tone or if you were like deep, deep, dark, beautiful skin tone, um, this would look really pretty, but not for my pasty white little booty. <laughs> This one is my last cami, I'm pretty sure, and this is a beautiful blue color. Again, I'm not sure how much it's gonna flatter my pale skin tone, but the straps are adjustable, which is really, really nice, especially for somebody who, like me who has a larger chest, um, and this lace detail is super pretty. So let's see how this one hangs and looks and if the color works for me. I'm disappointed again in this one for two reasons. First of all, what is this? Like, I don't want a triangle pointing towards my crotch, I think that's like really awkward. <laughs> I don't like that at all. And then this lace part goes down to like under where your bra would be. So there's like a little tiny piece of skin showing and then my bra and then the pretty lace. So yeah, not a good look. The color isn't as bad on me as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why I'm backing up as if this is an outfit, but yeah. That's a bummer. I was on a serious hunt for black pants, I guess, because I also got um, some just black skinny jeans. So I love Zara denim. They're only like $30 a pair. And the only two pairs of jeans that I wear are both from Zara. So, so I have high hopes for these. I got them in a size 27. So let's see how they fit. So these jeans, although they are super cute and like jet black, which is really nice. Um, and I like the bottom, like the raw hem like that. Um, they're the same size as my other two Zara jeans that I wear all the time. And I can't zip these ones up, <laughs> they're so, so tight. So um, I would probably even have to size up twice in these because I don't know what it is, but I just can't get them on, which is a bummer because I was looking forward to having a staple pair of black jeans. And then lastly, in my Target haul again, I tried on some like chunky black biker boots to wear with my frilly dresses. And I ended up returning them because they were just a little bit too harsh for me. Then I saw these. And they are, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to tell, but they are tweed with like a thread of sparkle through them. And then the buttons on the top are pearls. So I'm hoping that those little touches are just enough feminine touches that will not be as harsh on me and will make that look of the frilly dress and the chunky black boots um, more of what I was going for. And then I can't shop at Zara without picking a few items up for my daughter, Ella. So I only have three things, so I'll go through them quickly. The first one is a little bit of a dupe of the Chic Wish um, chunky cardigans that are like mommy and me. I'll I actually have the adult version that I bought 
um, prior to being pregnant, so I didn't actually get the matching daughter one. And it's gotten so popular on Instagram that the price for the smaller one is like 60 to 75 dollars and i just would never pay that much money for a sweater for my daughter that's going to grow out of it in a few months so anyway long story short they have the exact same sweater with the exact same bobble print but it's just in a different color and i actually prefer this color i love putting blue on my daughter because she has big blue eyes so that's really cute and yeah i also love like pastels in the winter so i thought this is really really cute and zara knitwear for kids is my favorite this next one kind of reminded me of like the indie instagram brands for kids they have such beautiful clothing and high quality clothing but it's just so expensive again i'm not going to pay 80 dollars for a blouse for my daughter that's going to grow out of it in a couple months so when i saw this one it really reminded me of a few different brands that i've been lusting over it's a corduroy like sage green colored blouse and they even went the extra mile and made really cute little buttons they are um like black and white buffalo check so yeah super super cute a good long sleeve shirt then last but definitely not least for ella is this adorable little jumpsuit this probably won't fit her for a little while but i just couldn't resist the buttons are wooden first of all and they're different shapes down the middle and then i just thought with some like chunky brown boots when she's walking around it's going to be adorable so yeah this one is really really cute and it's a lot softer than i was expecting so that is everything that i have to share it's actually a bigger order than i remembered ordering I guess so yeah I'm really excited to try all these items on and I hope that you guys liked a few of them let me know in the comments if you think I should keep anything if you liked anything or even if you didn't I would love to hear your thoughts if you would like to see more hauls from me then like this video so I know to keep doing them and I will also link the playlist that I made for my fall haul week in the description box we are in the middle of vlogtober right now so I am posting a new video every day Monday through Friday for the entire month of October so if you want to see more from me then please don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you back thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you tomorrow bye